Greetings, everyone. It is I, the mighty Jesus. We are back with One Piece Chapter 1057, Final Curtain. As you can see here, I'm at the Saltery. Yeah. We're gonna need some water for this chapter. So, the cover page today, cover chapter. Germa 66, Cold-Blooded Voyage, Volume 16, Caesar's Poison Gas Attack. As we can see, Caesar is attacking, it seems, everyone with his poison gas attack. As we see Katakuri launching his attacks at the Germa, Germ, the Germa siblings, basically. I'm just going to call the Germa siblings. <laughs> I don't know if Caesar is trying to help the Germa siblings or he's helping Big Mom. Anywho, he's attacking. We start off the chapter. A tale is being told in the capital. As we see the capital, bing, bing, bing. Dark clouds gather. The storm echoes through the sky, consuming Onigashima. Bing, bing, bing. Ah, play is happening. The roar of the azure dragon and the howls of the countless other beasts join the cacophony. At Habu Port, the scattered leaves of... The scattered leaves of fall are bleached of auburn in the pattering rain. The stage is set for a tale of duty and honor. This is the story of the royal retainers and their quest to let Kozuki Odin's name shine once more. It's a play. And many a hardship lie in wait, but they stay resolute to meet their fate. The Red Scarabs! As they, as the evening of the fire festival starts to unfold, forest near Totag Tokage Port, Udon. So, we see Kiyomon, Yamato, and Momonosuke in dragon form rushing to see the, the set the straw hats off, basically. What? You're not heading out to sea? Yamato? Nope. I'm staying. I've already spoken to Luffy and the others about it. So, the news is set. Yamato is not joining the crew. I can already hear the sea seething. <laughs> oh, the poor fans. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I was one of the fans. I kind of wanted Yamato to join. Are you really content with this, Yamato? Aren't I welcome here? You are. We are just confused. A moment ago, you said you made up, had made up your mind. Yeah, we're just as confused, Kiamon. Oh, that? Well, Odin started his journey with the tour of Wano, right? I realize there's so much out there I, that I have that I don't understand, but I'm sure that I'll find my way if I follow in his footsteps, and I'm bound to make it out to sea sooner or later. Unbelievable! You were able to tell them. About all this? That does it. They must have intentionally snubbed me. Why bid farewell to everyone but us? And we see Momonosuke's uh, flashbacks. Your name? Your father was a fool of a lord. Identify yourself. Oriwa, I'm Luffy. <laughs> I'm Luffy. So, what if you're a warrior? I'm going to be king of the pirates one day, so there. Bah. Oh yeah, well, one day I will be announced Shogun of Wano, so take that, you half-wit. Ah, uh, so it's a flashback where Luffy and uh, Momonosuke are fighting. Big talk for an eel. You are nothing but an ignorant ape. What are you going to, what are you, Momo? Just some figurehead? Are you just going to stand there and cry? I want to beat Kaido. <laughs> All right, then let's team up. It's an alliance. And we see uh, Momonosuke getting kidnapped by uh, the one who shall not be named. <laughs> Luffy. That's the spirit, Momo. You may be a cowardly jump. That's the spirit, Momo. You may be a cowardly, jumped-up, top-knotted brat, but you're right. Find a way to survive. We'll have your back. Don't forget, 
we're pals. I'll ask you one more time, boy. What is your name? Uh, when Momonosuke was tied up. Kozukui Momonosuke. The man who will be Shogun of Wano. Go. You can fly. Right. Stop Onigashima in its tracks. I will definitely beat Kaido. <laughs> and we cut back to present time. We not have always gotten along, but we... Went through a lot together. Is he really that heartless? I was wrong about you, Luffy. You fiend. He is mistaking being free with being... <laughs> he is mistaking being free with being free to be rude. Am I wrong, Kimon? Not at all. By the way, Momonosuke-sama, is there a reason we aren't flying? <laughs> he stopped flying. Quiet! <laughs> Momonosuke-sama, you are the undis... Puted Shogun of Wano now. Depending on Luffy Dono's words, I may have no choice but to cleave him apart for this slight. Exactly. That is the way of the samurai. Though, I thought we were pals, Luffy. <laughs> Yamato is the straight man here. I think you're blowing this out of proportion. Proportion. He humiliate. He humiliate. Oh my goodness, man. He humiliated us, overlooking, overlooking this without giving him a few blows and bites is out of the question. Tokage port, Udon. Remember, as Law talking, remember the next time we meet, it will be as enemies. Don't whine to me if we're shooting to kill. Gotcha. See you around, Traff. Buzz off. Set sail. Huh? Hey. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Everyone's seeing Momonosuke arriving at the port. You monsters! <laughs> hey, we've come to see you off. Momonosuke, King Mon, Yamato-chan. <laughs> of course, Sanji. And uh, it seems Momonosuke jumps onto Luffy as he transformed back to human form. Yeah. Got you. Luffy, wah! <laughs> we see Yamato have a Luffy plus a heart in the text here. Interesting. Luffy, you dastard. What is the meaning of this outrage? How can you abandon the two comrades have, comrades you have known the longest without a word? You have angered the Shogun. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, what's the big deal? We're meeting now, aren't we? Luffy, this isn't... Edict from the Shogun. <laughs> he just starts crying. Please don't leave me. It'll be so lonely. <laughs> I want to be with you forever. It can't end like this. <laughs> Keep on his face palming. I only managed to survive because you were there. You were the reason I can laugh again. Thank you so much for avenging my father and my mother. And we see the Straw Hats reacting this, <laughs> Frankie in the back, crying. You see, I can't express myself properly now. I'm scared of what happens next. Please don't go. That's quite a pitiful sight, Zoro says. Cut him a break. He's still a little kid on the inside. Usopp! Yeah, it's ready. Yeah. Oh... Luffy threw out a flag for him. We've been waiting here all this time because I wanted to give you this. You can't play tough Shogun with me, Momo. Even if you're a bit bigger now, I know what you're like on the inside. You're a small, weak dummy, but I think of you like a little brother. This is... It's a flag. It's a straw hat flag. When the times when times are tough, look at it and remember your seafaring adventures. Hang it up somewhere in Wano. If any major bad news comes knocking, just point him to it. It'll let them know that they're screwing with our friends. Is the same as screwing with us. Boom. Epic pose. Does that mean I am one of you? Kiamon, Yamato, Momo. If any of you ever want to be pirates, I'll come for you right away. <laughs> All right. 
just remember, I won't have any weaklings on board. <laughs> and we see Momonosuke nodding vigorously. Take care of him, Yamato. Yeah, let's go. Keep it together, Shogun. Good luck, Momonosuke. Kimon, yes? Mark my words. Someday I will surpass, surpass, surpass Kozuki Odin. I will be by your side when you do. You talking about me? <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, let's set for Hakumai. The main port is there. I was told there's a lift that lowers ships down. Phew! I thought since we scaled the waterfall... I thought since we scaled the waterfall to get here, we'd have to fall down it to leave. Me too. Thank goodness. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. You guys would use the main port. It's the safe and sound way, after all. <laughs> it seems Kid is... Kid is, uh... Egging them on. Oh, no. Perfect for you, wusses. Safe and sound? <laughs> we see Law and Luffy just, like, ready to... Mm. No, Luffy. Being safe and sound is good. Don't let him get to you. Hang on, Captain. What's with that face? We all think the main port is better. Jinbei, give me the helm. Luffy, don't! Stop it. Take this! And they all go off the waterfall. No, we're all gonna die! The might of the outlaws recruited by Lord Momonosuke and Kimon made, the, made them akin to real-life wisdom kings. Their power descended like a raffle tsunami, obliterating all in its path. Even Kaido, the Dragon King, and the Yonkai possessed giant Oran failed to withstand their assault. The heavens themselves were torn as painful shrieks reverberated through the air. During the chaos, Prince Hiori was accosted by Orochi, the snake that seemingly perished in the flames. In a desperate last-ditch attempt for his spiteful vengeance, his gambit was thwarted by a single slash, and whose own the blade that separated Orochi from his final cursed head. Why not other than Kozuki's Odin's second disciple, Denjiro? Oh yeah, before, so this is the play that's happening, and we just see the ships falling as this narrator is speaking. We see everyone's facial reactions. Kid, Luffy, and Law as they grip their teeth as they fall <laughs> off the waterfall as we continue the play. With his last one detached, detached and burning and twisted. With his last one detached and burning, the twisted Kurizumi was all at a long last brought to his knees. Ba bang. And then a flash of lightning marked the fall of Onigashima, and with it the fall of Dragon King Kaido. The sun has finally pierced the dark clouds that were suffocating Wano for twenty long years. The skies were cleared. Sounds from the ignorant masses celebrating the fire festival in the capital crept into their ears. Papong. Then suddenly, a defy then defying all reason, the burning remains of Orochi spoke. The Kurizumi family's grudge shall continue to curse this rotten land generation after generation for all eternity. But Princess Hiori refused to flinch or shudder. She held her gaze. The country's twenty years worth of torturous memories fu fueled her heart. Stand back! It's too dangerous, Hiori sama cried the samurai Denjiro, but she was brushed aside but she brushed aside his hand. Our beloved princess would not yield a single step. Standing into Orochi's devilish face, she delivered a damning epitaph. Her fan held aloft, the Kurzuki crest proudly dancing on edge, no longer having to bite her tongue like she did for that last twenty years. She cried out, Father, mother, brother, and our homeland, hear this! In this... In th this, in that moment I've been waiting for, we all know the name means charcoal. So, all together now. The Kurizumi were born to burn. And now, 
Time slides ahead to the day after the festival. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Where the feuds and weapons can finally rest. A shocking truth is revealed at the port where the reversed crescent moons meant. A, the denou denouement of the violent Sega is a joyous reunion. The blood spilt in order to revive the clan will never be forgotten. A record of their sacrifice will always be carried by the wind. That concludes today's tale on our nation's renowned samurai. And we see... All the samurai lined up, including Yamato and Momonosuke, <laughs> and how they miraculously returned to us. Momonosuke sama, shogun sama. With that, I think a well earned break is in order. Now, where shall we hang this flag? Till we meet again, farewell. Final curtain, chapter 1057, end. Inherited will never fades. We see the curtains close. Dun, dun. Final act end. Wow. Very cool chapter. I mean, uh, it was really well drawn, this chapter, I must say. But I know most people are going to be talking about the fact that Yamato didn't join the Straw Hats. I have a big feeling that's going to be a hot debate in the, for the past week or so. Considering, like, there were already people upset about Carrot joining the, the Straw... Carrot not joining the Straw Hats in their adventure. So, it's kind of funny now that Yamato isn't joining. So, I don't know what Oda has cooked up, but there must be a reason why it came to pass this way. Mm. So, that's the end of the chapter 1057. Jesus recommends you reading One Piece. Continue it again next week as I will return. Goodbye. Oh, wait. The chapter was like a, I would say a 7 out of 10 because of the Yamato stuff. But hey, what can you do? I'm not the writer. <laughs> Goodbye.